League of Legends lore is long, so I will be doing the fun, interesting only facts about champions in under a few minutes for people with short attention spans like you and me. Did you know Kaisa was a human and not this weird purple alien? Kaisa was a normal person and when I say normal, she wasn't an emperor like Azir or some golden child. She was actually a normal village girl with normal loving parents, which is rare in League because your parents are normally abusive or dead. She used to live in the deserts of Shurima. However, when she was a child, one day she was playing around the village and she comes across these sacrificial goats. They were trapped in a cage. As a young child she releases those goats and lets them be free but little did she know that would be the biggest mistake of her life once she does that the ground starts shaking the sky lights up and a rift opens basically the planet just kind of cracks and that crack swallows up Kaisa and her village. So trapped under the desert in Shurima, Kaisa could hear all of the villagers trapped, but eventually she can't hear them. Inside this weird place called the Void, Kaisa gets attacked by a void monster similar to her size. Long story short, they fight and Kaisa ends up killing the monster with a knife her dad gave her. Although the creature was dead, it kind of stays on her and refuses to leave. She tries removing it, but it's literally not possible. And over time, it started growing too. But she was kind of cool with it, and instead of panicking, she kind of uses that monster as a shield in the Void to fight other monsters and in the void the longer she survives the stronger she becomes so this is why kaisa doesn't look human but she is technically a human and did you know that people think kaisa is an evil monster let me explain as kaisa is surviving more in the void she gets stronger and stronger and eventually she becomes some kind of void hunter and in time she notices a village is close to the void now she knows that the void will eventually attack that village so she goes to the village to warn the people once she gets to the village everyone ignores her and doesn't believe her about the void she asks the village leader can i show you what the void is and then you decide. He agrees. She takes him and shows him the destruction and horror within the void, then takes him back to the village. However, he still ignores her and says that the void is not a big threat. But Kaisa knows he's an idiot and the village will be destroyed. So she starts exerting her power and scaring all the villagers. And as she does this, the villagers run away and evacuate. And she knows she'll be coming across as a monster when she does this, but she thinks it's for the greater good. And she was actually right because the next day, she sees a void army going towards the village. So her hunch was correct. But the sad part is Kaisa is now seen as a monster. Let's skip some time. Did you know Talia saved Kaisa from being eaten alive? One day Kaisa is exploring an unusual tunnel. As she's exploring it, she gets attacked by something she calls the lamplights. She gets slapped by the lamplights and becomes overwhelmed. However, Talia comes in and saves her from the lamplights. Talia is in a group of survivors who just like Kaisa have been impacted by the void. Talia asks Kaisa to join her group and join the team. The group is a bit iffy about trusting Kaisa at first, but over time they start trusting her and telling her more important things. Talia then tells Kaisa that her mission is to take over a place called Zolan. Zolan is a sanctuary where Talia thinks she can put all the villagers and they'll be safe. However, it is protected by Xersai, and the Xersai is this group of powerful void-born creatures like Rek'Sai. Talia and Kaisa realize they cannot take the villagers, so instead they go alone to Zolan. When they get there, they are attacked by Rek'Sai. Although they were meant to beat him, they can't actually beat him, so instead what they do is trap Rek'Sai inside of a tunnel with the statue of Zolani, a god warrior of Shurima. And that is how Talia saved Kaisa and how Kaisa helped Talia get a sanctuary for her villagers. Let's skip some more time. Did you know Kaisa's dad abandoned her? One day Kaisa gets lost in the void in an area called the Lavender Sea. Inside here she finds the empress of the area, Belveth. Immediately, Kaisa knew she could never beat Belveth because Belveth was just too powerful by presence. Belveth and Kaisa start speaking and Belveth tells Kaisa that her dad is not dead and is now called Kassadin. The Void has broken Kassadin's mind and now he is running around lost and confused. Kaisa was obviously shocked at finding this out, but Belveth offers Kaisa an ultimatum. An alliance, but a weird alliance. Belveth tells Kaisa that if she helps Belveth beat the Watchers, side note, the Watchers are these beings that create Void monsters like Belveth, but the Watchers believe that they should destroy all creation. However, Belveth doesn't agree with that part. She wants to recreate creation in her own vision. And both are evil, by the way. Belveth tells Kaisa that if she helps her beat the Watchers, then she will allow Kaisa to make a plan to beat her, being confident that Kaisa could never beat her. Oh, and if Kaisa said no, Belveth would literally kill Kaisa there and then. I actually think Kaisa has very interesting lore. She starts off as a normal, regular child, but obviously she has a very traumatic experience after. And I think it's even more sad because she had no idea her life was gonna change because she just freed some animals. She thought she was doing a good thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. They do take time to make sure so a like, comment, and subscription is appreciated. Have a good day.